Hello chess lovers, Zoran here and in this video I want to share with you another exciting game played at 2019 World Rapid Championship. With the white pieces playing the reigning world chess champion Magnus Carlsen and his opponent is Vietnamese chess grandmaster Le Quang Liem. But before starting our game make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. So this game was played in round 10 and Carlsen was playing with the white pieces opened up with d4. Le Quang Liem responded with d5 and we have queen's gambit, d takes c4, queen's gambit accepted and white is instantly establishing a strong pawn center with e4. Here black answered with provocative knight f6 and I have to tell you that another popular alternative is e5. But in our game we have knight f6, with this move Black is provoking white to play e5 and then we'll start undermining the pawn on d4, bishop b3, bishop f5, not the most popular move, the most popular move in here is knight c6 but in our game we have bishop f5, knight f3 e6, knight c3, knight c6 and we quickly deviated from the main theoretical battle here, both players castled kingside a3 by Carlsen, knight a5, bishop c2 and queen d7, which is a huge mistake by Vietnamese chess grandmaster. Well, instead it was better simply to go for the exchange of light squared bishops. But in our game after bishop c2 we have queen d7 and the problem with this move is that after the exchange of bishops on f5, white is getting a mobile pawn center and d5 is on the board. Knight a c4 and bishop takes b6, white is first removing one of black's knights and then we have queen b3 and now white will support the advance of his central pawns with the help of his rooks. Rook a d8, black has a very unpleasant cramped position and white is enjoying a huge advantage. Rook d1, rook e8, rook e1, g6 and h4. As the dark squares around black king are weakened, this h pawn is hurrying to create more problems for black. h5, bishop c5, queen c2. The queen was like out of the game. Carson is now switching it into the attack. Queen c1. The queen is coming to support the h pawn. Queen e7. Queen f4. A nice maneuver by Carson, right? And then after knight d7, we have b4. Getting more space. Kicking away Blake's dark squared bishop. Of course, the pawn on b4 is untouchable because of this d6 move. That's why we have bishop b6 and h6 check by Carlson. So, what position is totally winning? King g8 and d6. Look at this, guys. It turns out that there is no way to stop white's aggression. With this move, white is not only attacking black rook, but is also freeing the d5 square for the knight. Queen f8 by black, well if c takes d6, then knight d5 will follow, and then e takes d6. Knight e7 can be a nasty threat, I don't know, at some point rook e7 can be played, and black has no chance to survive. In our game, queen f6 was played, but to that move, Carlsen answered with another pawn push. This time we have e6. Look at this beauty, guys. White pawns reached the 6th rank without meeting any obstacles. This is truly a magnificent position. A painting. A painting of a talented artist, right? F takes e6. Well, if rook takes e6, then after the exchange of rooks, d takes c7 will follow and it's over. In our game we have f takes e6, but after d takes c7, rook c8, like Quang Liam lost the knight on d7. Of course, he could already resign, but did it only after the exchange of rooks and knight d5, because black is going to lose more material. If queen f8, then this time white can simply munch the bishop on b6. That's why finally after knight d5 we have a resignation. By the way, let me count how many consecutive pawn moves we saw in the game. So it all started with b4, 1, and then 2, 
three, four, five, six. Yeah, six consecutive moves. Can you imagine, guys? And then the game quickly ended up. Carson made six consecutive moves with his pawns and quickly forced the resignation. This is it, dear chess lovers. Magnus Carlsen crushed his super strong opponent without showing no mercy, you know? This was like a, I don't know, Lich's bullet game played against an average player where he's giving his opponent absolutely no chance to survive. Once again, the champion demonstrates who is the king. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning move for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. The solution is sparkling and I will wait that crushing move in the comment section. You will be proud of yourself if you can find that move. In the end, here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care and good luck.